you know, here's a new thing that we're going to talk for today. Before we start, again, I uh, wanted to congratulate everybody who got something, you know, the wins and the lives, and also everybody who is preparing for something big and uh, waiting for a lot of stuff to happen. I'm so happy to be recording this. Are you guys good? Just let me know in the comments, all right? So today, what I will do is I will just try to go deeper into how you pursue things and how you view yourself. You know, the way you view yourself has a lot to do with how people view you because it's kind of like a reflection of yourself to others. And, uh, you know, these days you can see a lot of people just pretend to be somebody, which is uh, something that I disagree with, so you don't have to do that. Today, most importantly, I'm just going to dive into self-reflection and also growth, whether it's personal or professional growth. You know, you may be an entrepreneur or just make ends meet. <laughs> That's what some people say. Uh, but the thing is, you're just trying to go through everything, knowing that you're doing everything right. And what I can tell you today is like, yeah, you're on the right track if you you're somebody who wants to build something. You want to accomplish one thing that is beyond what people can think of or, or what people can imagine. Then oh, congrats. You know, keep doing, keep doing it. Never give up and everything. However, you just have to sometimes uh, not put too much pressure on yourself. You know, I, yeah, pressure is good if it's for the good. I'm not saying like, you know, you have to kill yourself, but not kill like literally but i'm not saying like you have to really like uh, you know sweat too much all right so hustle 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 like a lot of people say it. you don't have to do all that so self-reflection is it goes beyond just you viewing yourself it also goes deeper into how you speak about yourself how you think about yourself all right so like how do you think about yourself also can tell uh, how people think about you it goes also deeper into like trust do you trust yourself because you won't expect people to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself like everything like what i'm saying here is everything start with you everything starts within like you have to start from inside out it's not from outside in or like you know like you have to go with the inner stuff that you have and the the only person you have is you like most of the, most of the time is like uh you will never find somebody that is like you you will find somebody that um, have similarities or some stuff but you have to know deep down that you're unique you have been created as a sole person that has all the attributes that only you can have so don't try to compare yourself with other people or try to look at other people or try to be like them because uh, you're unique, you're special. And that's why I'm making this video for you. If you're here listening to this and uh, like watching this, you just have to know that uh, I believe in you. And I also know deep down that you're unique, like you were created for a purpose. Uh, you will not put here for just for to play and just do nothing. There's a bigger mission that you have to accomplish, whether you're aware of that or not, but it's still there and you have to really go and find it. You don't have to like travel a lot and stuff, but the only place you have to travel is within yourself. So self-reflection goes a lot deeper from just you seeing you uh, in a certain type of way, but also you going deeper within yourself, doing this thing that's called introspection, like looking at yourself from inside and being your own person, seeing your flaws, recognizing your strength, recognizing your weaknesses, and uh, also like all that, because like nobody's perfect. You have to know that from the jump and also that you will have the ultimate satisfaction per se. Like sometimes, you know, satisfaction is something that is like, a, you can never catch it. Once you try to catch it, it just goes far again. However, this satisfaction in everything that you do, just sometimes you don't recognize it. 
and you don't even know how it is because you're caught up into a lot of stuff that are outside you which is good sometimes because you have to to see outside of yourself however for you to really be in your environment and create an environment create like a you know i'm gonna say this but for lack of a better term we're just gonna use like culture but it's it's like the things that you want to represent the things that you want to be involved in all the things that are related to your values all the things that are related to your beliefs you just have to create like an environment for that and before you do that you have to know yourself first you know take time to know yourself take time to understand who you really are because i'm sure the day you will discover who you really are you'll be surprised because you're really a creative that is special you're really a person that is beyond anything that you can even imagine however you just don't see because you've never taken time to see inside of yourself to look inwards and find that germ you know find the gold find the diamonds and all the stuff that is within you that is there for you to impact other people is there for you to reach out to other people and make like a you know inspire and also maybe get inspired by whatever you're doing and also to be like learner like have more room for improvement more room for learning more room for new knowledge that's gonna help you to develop yourself that will create uh something that is gonna be constant so it doesn't have to be just one time and then you just forget it's you have to do it make it a habit to always look inwards to always reflect what's in you to always reflect your beliefs to always reflect uh, everything that you you really stand for everything that you really represent because if you stand for nothing you can fall for anything you know that right so the thing is like you have to to know where you are and who you are like your mission right find your why and all the stuff you don't look for your why outside you don't look for who you are outside you like the meaning of yourself like self meaning self worth you look at all those stuff inside of you not outside all right so you won't have to wait for people to tell you that you're great you should know that already all right you won't have to wait for people to tell you that you are amazing that you do all this stuff and everything although it's sometimes good to hear feedback from people uh, to get that this constant feedback because it keeps us in check however you have to be the first person to keep yourself in check otherwise you're gonna be a reactional to whatever feedback you're gonna get you're gonna start reacting and stuff because you don't know like when you know your strength when you know your, your weaknesses you won't have to react on somebody else saying about yourself because you know uh, okay this me this not me yeah he's right he's wrong and you know it you don't have to react but at least you know you are aware of that self-awareness is something that you have to develop self-love you know self-discovery and, and all that because a lot of stuff that you're gonna have to do in life it's to buy you and other people but before you go to other people you have to go to yourself first you have to know yourself first so that you can know how you can create that environment that will make sure you stay you even when you are with other people. If this is something that you were eager to hear about or wanted to 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 watch and this message resonates with you, just subscribe, share, or leave a comment. And I'll appreciate, be glad to know about your feedback. And one of the things also that I would like to know uh, is that uh, I would like you to cultivate is uh, gratitude. You know, you have to be grateful. Yeah, we're breathing right now. Most people are not alive. Most people are not here today. And uh, you have to be grateful because you are still here. All right, you can still watch this video. Again, my name is King Clavis AP, and I'm so glad to have you here. I just wanted to know what is the most astonishing, most, you know, stunning, most like something that you say like, whoa, I didn't know that I, I was like this. It's not like shocking, but some, yeah, kind of, but, it has to be something that uh, surprised you, that you, you maybe you were underestimating yourself in the same way, and then you just discovered that, wow, 
So this is who I am. Wow, this is so amazing. Put it down in a comment. I'd love to, to read about it. And other people will also love to read about it. It will just uh, help you to look within yourself and discover a lot of stuff. And first of all, this is not just to put like a certain belief in you or anything. Yeah, although like I'm a believer, I believe in the most high and uh, I don't know if you're a believer or not, but I think what I'm saying here can resonate with you and you can see that whatever you you're looking for whatever you seek you find it first within yourself you find it first within because you were created for that that self discovery that self hunt it's within you however most people just want to be in their comfort zones just want to be comfortable and just want to just stay like that and uh, i don't know if that's you but if that's you you need to stop today and start thinking about how you can really look at yourself. Don't turn on the TV. Don't go on social media and look at some, some stuff. Yeah, maybe now watching this video, but I think is this is the time or oh, this is the sign that you just have to know that you have to go and look within yourself and find your why, find everything that you really have. And sometimes find your happiness because most of the time you don't get to celebrate a little or simple milestones that happen in your life waking up and feeling good that's something you should celebrate all right you know you thank the most high for everything you say thank the most high for the sun and everything you know that the, there's a there's a song that was telling you i thank you for sunshine thank you for so that, that's a great you know a great way to be thankful to be grateful and you have to cultivate it has to start with you and then that will just spread to other people they will just see that you know constant gratefulness they will see that you're always uh you know joyful i'm not saying like be like a clown but you know you get what i'm saying right so like you have to mean it and uh it doesn't have to be just to please other people because the first person you should please is yourself all right if you're not happy with yourself you don't have to expect other people to, to be happy with you nobody is gonna make you happy unless you make yourself happy because most people uh, get you know they lie to themselves that they'll find happiness you know when they are with certain certain people that that is wrong that is not true uh happiness is found within and the only thing that you you look after is not just happiness but joy inner joy inner peace have to find it because you cannot find all those things outside and stuff. The piece that you hear on the news is not the right piece. It's may maybe an animal or something, or maybe a, a bird or whatever. But the thing, what I'm saying is like peace is within you. That calmness, that, you know, staying still and everything and be calm on every situation. Like having clarity on how you walk, how you talk and uh, everything that you're doing regardless whether it's for uh, like you have a job whether you have a business whether you are, are into helping people whether you are into like discovering yourself or traveling or other stuff uh just make sure that you always tap into the inside of you to discover who you truly are to talk to your inner self because that's where everything starts that's where everything begins all right so again i'll again re remind you that you have to share this video with whoever needs it and this if this has been helpful to you please subscribe i have a lot of videos that you can watch a lot of episodes and also if you wanted to support uh what i'm doing or you just want to support so that we can create more content that's going to resonate with people and you know impact lives you just need to click on donate and yeah, donate any amount would do. And I'll appreciate that. Again, my name is King Clovis AP. If this has been helpful to you, just let me know. Thank you for watching and come back for more. Thank you.